Well, um, tough game. Um, excited we got the win. Um, give a lot of credit to Utah State. I thought um, Blake Anderson and staff had the guys ready to play. They did some different things, some things that we weren't expecting, especially on the offensive side. But uh, we, I thought they played really well on defense too. And um, you know, we, we could, uh, we definitely can even play better ourselves. We just uh, a lot of um, mistakes and undisciplined play. But uh, just just the little things that we can we can fix. I I didn't like it. I think last week I talked to you guys about us not playing clean, and then uh, the same thing happened again. So that's my job. I uh, demand it from our guys. But uh, some really good things happened um, with competition. So I thought some guys played really well um, tonight, and uh, we'll just keep building on it. But um, a lot of credit to Utah State. I thought they came in with a great game plan. Uh, the players were were fired up, ready to play this game, and obviously you know. Nothing to lose, and we had we played a little bit tight. I thought they played with, with uh, an attitude of nothing to lose, and we played uh, just an attitude of just trying too hard not to make mistakes, and ended up making some. So um, they find a way to get our guys to play more loose, and um, you know have more fun out there, and, and not make so bonehead mistakes. But that's 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 my job as head coach. So we'll work on that. But the effort was good, and the guy I thought the guys played really well, made some adjustments. Um, uh, on, on offense and defense, and I thought it worked out well for us. So um, we're, we're excited that we got the win. Obviously, at the end there, um, had some guys. Just felt like it was good to get some um, backups, some reps, and they obviously scored on us. But it's OK. I'll, I'll trade in the, the points for the experience. So any questions you guys have? What was the difference in the second half? Tie game at halftime. Yeah, made some adjustments. I, I, honestly, the, the game plan that they had, they didn't I didn't think they were going to do as much keep away ball or um, um, the type of runs. It reminded me a lot of what Coastal Carolina does, and um, a lot of great reason they have. I mean, they played. They played. I thought Cooper did a great job um, running running that offense, you know. And um, we just couldn't get off the field at certain times. I thought the guys played really hard and, and made plays, but um, but there are times that it's like the the penalty of throwing the shoe. Um, Got away with it in Tennessee years ago, and obviously, got to teach our guys not to throw the stupid shoe anymore, and um, just give it. Try to teach our guys to play sportsmanship, so give it back to the to the player, and then just keep moving on. But it, it was like just mistakes that extended the drives, and uh, you know, I, I like our guys playing with a lot of energy, but um, can't abandon our, our mindset, and, and need to make sure that we play with a better. Uh, better mind in, in, in the game, and so that's going to be the focus. We have to get that. We have to play better than that yeah, as far as clean football. Defense for the Yeah, I mean, we we found her, you know found out today that that he wasn't able to go, and and um, I think, I mean, he's a tough kid, plays hard, you know, and and, and uh, I remember him in high school. So he he's he can hurt you with his arm and and with his legs, and so um, I think when the, I don't know if it was that much of a shift. As much as it was on their side, changing being more of a, a downhill run team and, uh, and 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 basically not not as a uh, you know, keeping the ball away. I mean, I think the first half and and offense didn't help ourselves either because we, we we made some didn't make enough plays. But I think we had what was it, was it 52 plays on defense, uh, you know, and the time of possession was was crazy and in their favor. And I think on offense, I think we only had maybe a dozen plays. So. Uh, you know, we're not going to score a lot of points when you don't have that the opportunities just to get on the field. And we've got to find a way to get the ball back to our our, uh, our offense and, and allow them to, to do their thing. So, but the adjustments made at halftime I thought was really good. We don't know if we could have done that um, during the game in the first half. We, we were on the field quite a bit, and then there was always quick turnarounds. There's, there's a lot of communication that needs to happen uh, on the sideline. We were trying to get that done, and, and just didn't feel confident about the scheme. And the change up until we got back in at halftime and had the whole team there. What do you kind of attribute to the slow starts defensively the last couple of weeks the most? Um, you give credit to the offenses that we're playing against, but also just find a way to make plays and, and don't make mistakes. You know, this I think the easiest thing would be um, playing assignment sound football and make better decisions. As far as you know, I think we got first drive. I think it was 15 yard penalty on Batty. And it was just, just not smart. I mean, I think he pushed the guy's head into the ground and stuff like that. Because come on, 
we're way better than that. And so just undisciplined stuff and uh, just need need defensive players just to buy into what we're doing and play football in between the whistles. And I think if we do that, we will be in better better situation. So I, the uh, the aggression needs to be during the play of the game, not afterwards or not even before. It just has to be when when the when the snap starts and we're having a bad you know, hard time adjusting to that. So um, we'll. we'll be focused on making sure we start better that way. It, it looked like Jaron was favoring his shoulder a little bit after taking that hard late hit late in the third quarter. Mm -hmm. Is he still OK? Is he? Is yeah, he I'm, I'm sure he's sore, you know, but, but he, I think he'll be fine. We, luckily, we have some extra days to rest, so we'll take advantage of that. We'll, we'll get back together with everybody. But he seems in good spirits and seems fine. So I mean, he's just sore. That, that, I thought I thought Utah State defensively did did some really good things, tried to take away the run and put a lot of pressure on on us and um, kind of got us uh, off our off our, our rhythm and our schedule. You know on what we're trying to do as an offense and and then I don't know if we took advantage of, of um, the opp some opportunities. You know we in the red zone area, so uh, we've got to figure it out. And um, I'm for, I, f I feel really excited that we got the win, but there's definitely a lot of a lot of th improvements to be made and and they're they're. I think for me, I think I would imagine that they're easy, easy things to fix. Kalani, why did you go back to Jake Oldroyd when he was struggling? Yeah, um, we felt good about about him kicking the ball, but you know, and he made that one. But then, uh, some uncharacteristic misses. But you know, competition will be on. Thought he kicked off really well. We tried to do an onside kick, and Utah State was ready for it. But I think it, I think it kind of sparked a little bit of energy in the defense. You know, I'm glad we stopped them. Um, and force a field goal, but uh, I just I want our team to know that we want to find ways to win, you know, and that's so I I, don't, I wish we'd have got the ball and I wish it would have been execute, executed differently. But uh, when it's all said and done, we're, I like the aggressiveness of the play call and, and willing to just go out there and, and try to win the game instead of just you know I would try to do something to, to change the momentum. Beyond Jake, who are the guys that are going to be in that competition? You got Smith. Peterman. Who are some of the guys are going to be competing for that spot? Going yeah, well, now? we got we got uh, Justin Smith, and then Cash Peterman can be involved in that too. So, um, could Rico be in there? Possibly, but he's our best holder, and and I think he's really good at, you know, at what he does in punting. So we'll we'll see. But um, we got some time to think about it. I, we'll, we still have a lot of belief in Jake. It's just maybe it's just that end zone. I have no idea, you know. But but. Um, um, we'll get it fixed. Uh, no one's harder on himself than he is. So right now he's he's not happy, but I'm trying to get him to be happy. We won the game, and but we still believe in, in his skills. I thought he kicked off really well, you know. So um, we just got to keep building off of it. How would you assess the run game today? What's that? How would you assess the run game today? Uh, not good enough, especially at the beginning. So. Um, yeah, just just uh, I thought Utah State did some good things up front to take away take it away, but um, you know just just fumbling the ball in exchange doesn't help you out. We had some some penalties that kind of put us back, you know, five yards to start. So it's just stuff that we can't be doing, and we got ourselves caught in, in uh, third and long situations. So uh, we're a lot better than that as as a team, um, especially as an offense. I thought. You know, second half we were able to get some plays, and get some yards, and uh, but I'd like to see more points than what we had. Defensively, oh. I was just going to say defensively, you give up almost 400 yards, mm -hmm. but you get three turnovers. So what what do you take away from? I mean, those turnovers were big for you, obviously with the pick six. Yeah. Um, well, I I felt like you know, the yards I'm not really worried about as much as the the getting off the field and extending drives. We didn't help ourselves. We kept shooting ourselves in the foot by making boneheaded mistakes, and so uh, we, we got to fix that. That's got to be addressed right away, and I think the players know, and we'll get, luckily we get back to meetings and, and, and get this stuff graded out for tomorrow. I was going to ask you about Gabe being tar ejected for targeting. Did, yeah. Did you agree with that call? Well, I didn't see the replay enough, but I, 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 I didn't see him leave his feet or anything like that. I thought he fronted him up, and I, I don't know. They said that he hit him with the crown of his head or whatever, but um, I thought he. I, I I thought it wasn't a, a targeting. He actually hit him up and then slung him down. So it wasn't like he left his feet. Or, but I don't know. I'll, I'll look at the uh, at the um, the video and I, th I think um, we plan. You know, hopefully they they make the, they change the decision. But if not, he will miss the first half of the 
um, of the game in Vegas. Coach, I, ask you a I know this one just wrapped up, but you know, next Saturday you just alluded to Vegas is a really interesting place for a Notre Dame home game. Um, yeah. And I know the fans have been looking to it, forward to it all year. Did, mm -hmm. Can you already feel a little buzz around that? Um, just, just until now, no, we're, we're focused on Utah State. We, we knew that, um, that Utah State would be ready for this game. I mean, that they, they even said it in a lot of their, their, their interviews and things like that, that this would be a game that we were, you know, that's the only thing that's scheduled. Not, there's nothing in the future right now. So, uh, we knew that they were, they were going to come after us. We just, I didn't think, I didn't like our response in the first half. I liked it in the second half. So, um, we, we've got to play, we have to play better football. As a team, and, and but I, at the same time, we won the game. So you, I don't want to sit here and say we made all these mistakes. Utah State played really, really well. I thought, I thought they played a, a great game. Um, they did some good things, especially after not having their their quarterback. I thought they adjusted well. Defense played physical football. Um, so you're giving them a lot of credit. But at the same time, you know, I want to just fix the low hanging fruit problems, the the, the the mistakes of discipline. So we can get that done. I, I feel better about our team. Gunner Rodney made his season debut tonight. What, what stood out about his performance to you? Yeah, I mean, it's just good to have him back on the field. You know, he, he's uh, he's been waiting for a while to, to get this thing going. So I just I just didn't want to believe it until I saw him catch his first pass. And then and that that was nice. It's, we're a better team when, when Gunner's playing. Uh, we feel greatly great about our receiving group. But um, Gunner's back for a reason. He came back this year for a reason. And I'm just glad that he's able to get out there and make plays now. And, and um, he, it's just to see that, 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 that light in his eyes, the excitement of being on the field, this is what he enjoys. And so I think missing out all those games since camp has been, been really hard on him. So hopefully he can make some more memories for us next week. I think the plan is just to get everybody involved and just get more. So the plan wasn't to go the only 11 or 12 plays and not have the ball and not get enough points. So, uh, you know, we, we want to score as many points and, and have, I don't care who catches it, but it's just nice that Gunner's now an option, right? And, and, and really excited about our team right now. We just, we're, we're, we're happy we got the win, we're going to fix it, get some extra time of rest, and then um, get after the game next week. So, appreciate it, guys. All right.